This is the Marucci Hex Composite Bat. It's a full piece composite bat with a super light swing weight. Uh, we've had a ton of fun with this bat this year. We've we've hit it all the time. Uh, the kids seem to really like it. They like uh, the fact that it feels super light. It has a really nice sound to it. This is the 2919. Um, and uh, this is the first year they've come out with a bat like this. Um, be interesting to see if they come out with another one for 2000. 16 um, but we've had a lot of fun hitting with this bat um, and a lot of people say that it's their favorite bat that they use especially those kids who are okay with a little bit of hand sting but but appreciate the power that comes with a one-piece composite this bat's nice and worked in we also have a really famous and mostly illegal called a combat b1 bat we're going to do sort of a pit these two bats together off of a tee and just get some bat speeds out of it see if we can get you some bat speed comparisons or i should say ball speed comparisons um, with the stalker gun and you know give you a feel for it at least what these bats sound like and uh, you know what they uh, what they feel like the b1 being illegal in most leagues at this point um, but that doesn't mean it's not fun to hit in the cage that's for sure so go ahead and get us warmed up here link give us sort of a baseline for this 29 ounce b1 this is the hardest you can hit it legal bat yeah, 48. Let's get one more. See if you can't put it right into the right into the glove here. Nice. That was 58. Let's let's do one more. That seems a little. Uh, uh, sometimes these guns aren't perfectly accurate. Let's just prove that model again. 58's hot. Yeah, 55, 58. There you were. So let's switch over now to the Marucci Hex. So again, this bat is legal in leagues. Um, this is the two and three quarter version. They come in a two and a quarter. They have two and five eighths. Uh, they have two and three quarter. Um, and then of course they have all their drops. Um, their, their, their drop is, is in a drop 10 uh, with the two and five eighths or two and three quarter bat, um, which, is, which is good. Uh, they don't have a huge selection like some other bats do, like a two and, you know, two and five eighths drop eight or drop five. Maybe one day they will. These have been consistently at 53, by the way, which is about, you know, oh, there's a 57. You know, it, it's right in the range of the quote unquote illegal bat. Um, we'll keep getting a couple here. Yeah, that's 59, that actually beat it. Um, I sometimes struggle with uh, making big predictions based just on bat ball exit speed, especially in a test like this. This is not, this isn't super controlled. Um, but it's still fun to it's still fun to kind of get a feel for it. The fact is the sweet spot on this bat is bigger just because it's a two and three quarter barrel. That two and five eight, or excuse me, the two the two and one quarter B one bomb bat. That's just two and a quarter, so you get a little more leeway in this bat to hit it right. And these two bats aren't very comparable. Again, one's illegal, one's legal. Um, it's just kind of fun to get a baseline just so you can see how this bat looks and feels in a twenty nine twenty in a twenty nine nineteen. Good feeling bat, Link. Yeah. Good looking swings, man. Drill this one. Last one for the ages. Yeah, 56. That works.